welcome back guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is the outline of our previous lecture we have seen that how to find the histograms uh, estimate of the graphs of the distribution also the mean median and uh, standard deviation of the sample we have today we are going to discuss these high number of data points in the python environment so let's move towards the python so here we have this environment and that is basically the vs code environment in which i have already installed the jupyter notebook so first of all let me import some important libraries so the first library i'm going to import here is pandas okay import pandas as pd similarly i am going to import scipy okay and similarly import matplotlib dipplot pyplot as plt and also another library which is basically the ebon if you don't know about these libraries it's okay i'm going to discuss them one by one with the very easy to grasp methods and also i have a playlist which discuss most of the things which will be discussed here okay so let me run it after running them i will see that it will take some time and after 4.8 seconds these are basically imported okay similarly as the data we have in our previous video let me move to the previous video and that is basically the data which i have to manipulate i have already copied it to my clipboard and let me paste it here so this is basically the uh, data which i have and in python i have to separate each data samples here by using this comma here and also using the square bracket here as well and naming it as data okay so uh, this is data and all the data points i have here is here so let me run it and after getting it i have to let me convert it to a data frame why data frame because it will be easy for me to manipulate it so data frame or the pandas data frame and that is here i have okay so how many data points do i have here so i have data i can also use length of data here and these are basically 60 similarly in order to count the values i can also use here that count value counts okay and here as well and after uh, running this command i will see that it will show me the frequency of all the elements which i have so 74 is three times it is three times and all the data samples which are here are basically shown here and also the data point of it is also uh, mentioned here that is in 64 in order to show the number of elements here i can also sum them all together and it will show me the number of data points i have here so these are the two methods which i can use uh, similarly in order to find the mean mode median and variance of this sample i can also use the statistic library here which is already built in in the python and that is also the module here but i am going to use the stat module so if i have the data points here in order to find the mean of it what i have to do i have to write data and just by writing mean and then running it it will give me the mean of this data we have here similarly in order to find the median of it just writing data dot median okay and it will give me what it will give me the median of it so these are the two measures of the data we have here in order to find the mode of it uh, i can use another very important package and that is the scipy which i have already installed here so writing scipy dot stats dot mode of it and then writing data and it will give me what it will give me the mode of it and the mode of it is 74 and the count of it that the number of time it has occurred is basically three okay so that is what that is what we have to find out so in order to find the standard deviation of it we have a data dot st d okay or the variance of it i can 
find it out or the variance of it is already here in order to find the standard deviation i can use this command and that's it for this okay uh, now in order to plot it and seeing the histogram here i have here plt dot hist okay and here let me plot my data and in order to plot it that is what we have here so this is the word this is the plot of the data or the histogram of what we have here and we can very easily see that the uh, more of the data is skewed towards the right side and that's why the data here is right skewed okay similarly in order to find the density estimation of it i can use cborn and in cborn i have a command that is basically a disk plot okay seeing the disk plot data here and plotting it here what i will get you can see that i will have here this one okay so this is what this is the plot i can have okay. sn dot dist plot okay writing data here and after it i have to write the number of bins equal to let me write them equal to 20 and after it i will see this beautiful plot and here we can also see this uh, density estimation function as well here so in order to uh, give it the x axis label and y axis label what i can do here is that let me write here what i can write here plt dot title so the title of it is what density estimation and histogram okay. similarly plt dot x label and on the x axis i can give it some numbers or data points y label i can say y label and on the y axis i can write here the frequency okay so here we have all of these things here we have another argument and that is kde kde stands for the kernel density estimation and by default this is true okay so when this is true which is the by default configuration when i will run it i can see here that here we have this uh, title which we have given it to display here similarly the frequency here and data points here as well if i want to display here what the grid points as well what i have to do i have to write here plt dot grid okay and after running it i will see that i will have the grid points which can be in here okay so this is what this is the density estimation which is the kde so in order to remove it if i make this kde equal to false what will happen here that you will see that the density estimation will be removed okay uh, similarly here if i want to increase the size of this plot what is here we can do so let me first make it true and by default it is also true so in order to do so i have to use another command which is plt dot figure and inside of it i have to write fixed size and for fixed size first of all i have to write the width of my plot and then the height of it so let me use this one and when i will use it i will see that the plot is now here so let me reduce the size of it so when I will reduce its size, you can see that this is the plot which we are, which I have. Okay. So uh, if I want to save it, I can save it uh, to any other location on my local disk and so on. Okay. So this is what we can do here by using the Seaborn and here this is the distribution plot which we have to do so. Okay. So uh, that's what we have done today after seeing the histograms in matplotlib we have also seen the uh, distribution plots here and also the histogram plots in seaborn as well and we can see that a very refined plots in seaborn 
uh, therefore it is usually used for that those purposes which are mentioned here so uh, that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video take care of yourself and i will see you soon